What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another stipulation draft here with the Magic Online Modern Cube. Uh, today, we are going to be playing Zaxor. Uh, Zaxor's suggested stipulation for his girlfriend, Emily. Uh, it's ladies' night. We have to pick all the female planeswalkers and creatures. We can't pick any males, uh, like male creatures or male planeswalkers. Uh, and we can't pick... We can Ladies, fixing, and other removal monsters or creatures that we can't decide on gender are fine. Uh, so removal's good. Uh, fixing is good. And if we have like a creature that we just... Like a Concentrated Sphinx, should be fair game. Um, but yeah, that's a stipulation. Hopefully it should go well. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's enough powerful female characters in Magic to... Restoration Angel. Bitter Blossom also counts. Carry Zev counts, but mm, not too sure. I wish we could tell who is holding this staff of Nin. <gasps> Wait. Nin is a female character. Nin the Pain Artist is a female character in Magic the Gathering. I want to take this just because I figured that out. And I think we're going to do that. Does that count? That's got to count, right? That's on so many levels. I just, I just meted this this whole stipulation. Dissolve over staff of Nin. Why are you guys like this? I think it's staff. Do you have to only pick art that features win as well? Um. I mean, maybe. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, kind of. Right. Like, it makes sense because. If the if the art features, a, I mean, it's, you're not gonna have a female character. Like, it's not gonna have like Elspeth, and the art featuring a male character, right? So, like, usually if the art features a male character, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a male character, right? I mean, like, we couldn't pick Avison's Pilgrim. Um, is Avison's Pilgrim a female character? Comically, Hornet Queen is a female character. <laughs> Oh, man. That's actually hilarious. Well, technically and actually, so... Mm, I think it's just Avacyn, right? Avacyn probably seems better than, than Hornet Queen. Because I don't know how much ramp we're going to be able to get. Yeah, I'll just take Avacyn. I think Avacyn is the safer pick. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Hornet Queen. Uh, oh, perfect. Nyssa. Nyssa seems good. Could be Hazaret, but I'm not a big Hazaret fan. It's definitely Nyssa, right? I assumed you guys were looking at Hazaret there. Um, not a big Hazaret fan. I'd rather play Nyssa. Who flips into a Planeswalker than Hazaret, who is a god. That is my feeling there. Hmm. Well, this pa oh, Chandra Flamecaller. Interesting. Well, that is the only female character in this pack. We could take Quarantine Field, but I don't know if that goes against the stipulation. Do we have to take If there is a female in the pack, do we have to take it? Or if there is Oh, a cast out. You guys nailed it. I like it. See, I would have missed that. She's waving goodbye to our bird friend. Goodbye, bird friend. I'll miss you. Does the ghost council include ladies? I don't actually know. It might be a pretty sexist ghost council, which is unfortunate. Um, God, two Chandras? Vraska's Contempt. That is 100%.
Corsair is a lady, isn't it? That's actually exciting. All right, let's do that. Yeah, all right, we're taking Corsair. I think we did it. I think we broke the format. I think we broke the format, guys. That is exciting. That is good times. Would you guys consider Pilgrim's Eye a female? I can't tell. It's very... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, we could take Rashmi here. No, it was totally a joke, just to be clear. Um, it's, I think it's just, I don't know. I think this is, I don't know. I'm just gonna take the Rashmi. I didn't want to branch out into an, oh, Bloom Tender. Oh, Devoted Druid. Oh, both of these are good. I'm a fan of both. Let me fix this, uh. Let me fix this, the, the magic of the... I don't think that did it at all. The magic of the stream is, is fading. I think Devoted Druid's probably better than Bloom Tender. Maybe? Rexage... Uh, this this stipulation has been great so far because I actually didn't realize how many female characters were on Magic Art, and this is kind of awesome. Um, I think we take Reclamation Sage here. That's pretty good. Oh, Banisher Priest! All right, we're doing doing some work here. I would like to take this Stirring Wildwood. Can I take this Stirring Wildwood? Is that I don't think there's any there's I don't think there's any gender association on this card whatsoever, but I would rather have some sort of fixing than none, but Okay, you said oh you said lands are fair game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um Mayor, you do not count. I will take a disenchant. Alright. None of these are Ladies. Actually, is Siege Rhino a lady? I don't know. Hmm. Could just take chicken. Uh, it's probably chicken, right? All right, we took chicken. Eh, Primal Command's fine. All right. Hey! That's pretty good. I like having these forsake the... Uh... I don't think we can tell on Rhino. Lady Rhino. <laughs> Bloom Tender and Devoted Druid are both ladies. Siege Runner looks like my ex. I say lady. Wow. All right. Bold strategy, Cotton. A Johnny, not a lady. A Miri Angel, lady. Hmm. Also not Lady. I think our, our options are Eternal Witness or Amiria. I'm probably just going with Eternal Witness here. Seems very good. Enough to not feel bad about passing something else that's even better. Soren is uh, not a Lady at all. Den Protector is a Lady. I don't actually... Oh, it's... Maloku is male. Sun Petal Grove is probably getting the nod here. Uh, we can't take Wall of Roots. I don't know if we can take Selfless Spirit. Maybe? But I think we're just taking Sun Petal Grove. I think there are probably very few male angels. That would be my guess. Guys, can you... Uh, lady or not? I don't know. It's not looking good. Imposing Sovereign, yes, but probably not going to make the cut. Actually, maybe. Uh, I Chalice is probably my least favorite of the two-mana ramp cards in this format. 
Imposing Sovereign, actually. Oh, Kasali Pride Mage, actually. Is Pride Mage... I can't... They have a main, so probably not, right? Probably male. All right. I, I have to go by the main that... Um, Thalia. Solid. Solid. Yeah, just taking Thalia. I don't see us playing Rashmi. We just don't have any reason to branch out into, into blue right now. We do need some more removal here. We have Cast Out and... Well, just Cast Out mostly. Reclamation Sage, I guess, but... I like Rashmi a lot, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if we're going to need to be splashing blue for her. So. Avenger, Master. This pack is pretty low in terms of options here. Yeah, my Coast actually does help with the Rashmi. Glorious Anthem? I don't think we're a Glorious Anthem deck by any means. Isolation, not an option. We'll just take you out of my coast. I like coast because it does give us the option to play Rashmi. So, that seems fine. Nissa. Also, Nahiri and Vampire X Mage right in a row. Um, fertile Ground. We're just going to have to go with Nissa here. Also, if that Glorious Anthem comes back, we'll probably take it and just play it with the Planeswalkers. Oh my God. I trust you, Frank. I'm just going to sit back. Trust your pride. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I'm also going to be doing a set review tonight. So if you guys want to tune in for that, be sure to give me a follow or a subscribe or whatever you guys want to do. Uh, we'll, be, we'll start our, our Dominaria set review tonight. I'll be posting them on YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern time for the next seven nights. I believe Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So should be all up by the pre-release. Um, it's Bane Slayer Angel, right? Hundred percent. So I'll be yeah, I'll be recording them live on on Twitch here, and uh, then we'll be posting them to YouTube at a later date. So by a later date, I mean tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night. Also, don't forget, we'll have this new subscriber remote coming up soon. <laughs> this beauty. Oh, that little cutie. Little beauty cutie. I'm just going to take this brush land. Uh, th we've passed three Chandras, and I think that's fine because we're not red at all. And the brush land actually helps us do what we're trying to do. So, What restaurant has the best fries? Okay. I'm going to say Checkers. I'm not a big Checkers fan because of... I. Uh, Actually, I don't eat a lot of meat, right? So when I used to eat meat, I used to eat checkers, but I used to like it. I thought the I thought their burgers were good, um, but I don't because I just don't eat a lot of fast food. But checkers, very good, very good. Fries, checkers, fries, very good. Oh, 
Oh, we're getting low here. Oh, Miri Angel. Actually, that might be fine. Especially if the Glorious Anthem comes back. Rallies, correct. Rallies or checkers. I mean, say what you want about checkers. I just think their fries are very, very good. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Really appreciate the support. Um, I'm going to take Pride Mage. We, like, we, we, careful, cons actually, careful consideration might be the pick. We're playing blue. So I'm going to take careful consideration, actually. We already have Forsaken Disenchant, so... Hunt Master's fine. Master of the Wild Hunt. Um, we're gonna pass on Gaze, right? Gaze does have Rask on it, but Master's really good for our deck. And Fertile Ground. Alright. Hopefully those last few picks were okay. Had to veto had to veto Gaze because it just doesn't like taking Gaze over Master seems silly. We're definitely not gonna play it. Draga Tree Speaker. Also, the Glorious Anthem didn't come back, which is really sad. Draga Tree Speaker is pretty good. So, I'm going to take that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I have the Tom Jones song stuck in my head. Awesome. You're brewing a double batch right now? I don't even know what that means. Tell me, explain to me. Explain to me what brewing a double batch means. I'm I'm unfamiliar. Is that a uh are you are you are you making beer? Are you a beer man? Oracle of Moldiah, that is 1000%. JC998. Thank you so much, man. That is uh that'll do. Oath of Nis, I wish we saw this last draft, but uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna take this Oracle of Moldiah. Also, you like that I said I'm like asking Seville Pippin about what what brewing a double batch means, and he says not much typing time, and I'm like, tell me exactly what tell me all about that. Tell me exactly what that means. I'm still not feeling the, the blue right now. Like, I just don't feel like we have a reason to mess up our mana base for it. We might get to that point, but I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> oh, man. Get a load of, get a load of old, uh, old beer brewing Pippin over here. I'm going to take this Thalia, and we're going to have double Thalia. We can take Marsh Flats, too, but we don't actually have anything to search for. We can literally just get a... a of planes with that, which is not exciting. You like the mirror over the Thalia? I think Thalia is very good. Also, with Imposing Sovereign and Thalia, like, their guys never come into play ta untapped. Alright, maybe I do like the Rashmi with the, uh, the Oracle of Moldiah, but that is ambitious to have both out and play at the same time. A Johnny, you're not the planeswalker we're looking for. None of you are the cards we're looking for. I'm gonna take this Simic Signet because I think the only lady is the Elf of Deep Shadow. And fixing uh is able to trump that. Yeah, it seems good. 
This also 24 cards. We need to make, make some cuts here. This also does uh, incentivize me to play the Rashmi, so. We might have to cut... Actually, that's up to Zaxor. Do we have to cut Master? Zaxor hoping for at least one Elspeth. I think there's still time for that. Blade Splicer. Also Gilded Lotus. So it's either Sublime Archangel or Blade Splicer, I imagine. We have a lot of creatures right now. Actually, some <laughs> Rooster in the Hen House. I think Sublime Archangel is probably really good with uh, things like Nyssa and Amiri Angel. And I was thinking Master of the Wild Hunt, but yeah, we're going to go with Sublime Archangel. That could just probably win games on its own, I would imagine. And Fenza. And Sylvan Cariated. Both options, surprisingly. Hmm. So we can probably cut this fertile ground. We can probably cut the chicken, too. I think Anafenza probably just makes the cut. Also, I don't think we care about Den Protector when we have Eternal Witness, so... Oh, Fleet Man, Fleece Man Lion. Is actually Fleece Man Lion? Uh, I don't actually know. This doesn't actually look like a main. I don't know. Hard to say. I think it's Anafenza over, over Sylvan Carry added there. Lingering Souls. Would it say Lioness, though? I don't know if it actually say lioness if it was a if it was a lady lion. Yeah, it is just I think it's just lingering souls. None of these other cards are very good. Lily, I mean Lilian is cool, but I also don't think we need Grove here. Hmm. It's probably Oblivion Oblivion Ring. None of these other cards. Actually it's it's definitely Oblivion Ring. There were no other, no other female cards there. Flooded Strand now seems very, very good. We're not going to play double blue click. Um, yeah, we're just going to take the Flooded Strand, fixing trumps. So... Yeah, unfortunately, Anafenza is non-token creatures, so. I'm just going to take Icefall Regent, I guess. Because we can't tell, and we're probably not going to play it. We're not going to play Ink Eyes for obvious reasons. Uh, Eldritch Evolution, I guess. Um, we Westvale Lab is actually pretty okay with the strategy we're working on. Declaration in Stone. That seems pretty good. Do uh well now we have Fleece Main Line. All right. So this is twenty four cards. You need one cut. This deck actually looks pretty sweet. I almost like uh, Fertile Ground over Devoted Druid because it's it helps us out of blue. I think we can probably take out Deck and Stone. And I think we might actually play... We have 17 creatures. I think we can actually cut Devoted Druid. But Nissa does reset Devoted Druid, so that's interesting. I mean, I think we just want all the blue sources we can get, though, unfortunately. And this gives us a Fertile Ground, Simic, an Island, a Fertile Grove, a, a Flooded Strand, and a Yavimai Coast. So that's actually a good amount of lands. Is two enough removal spells? We've got Oblivion Ring, we got Cast Out. Uh, Staff of Nin can shoot some stuff. Reclamation Sage kills some relevant things. 
Yeah, maybe we do put Deccan Stone back. I guess we could cut Anafenza. I think that's actually fine. Actually, Anafenza is probably better than Imposing Sovereign, especially because Thalia already kind of does that. And this just makes our other creatures better, even if they are, even if she doesn't affect tokens. Oh, we're not playing Lion because we can't um, determine the the gender, unfortunately. So, I also think this is fine. I think I'd also play Master of the Wild Hunt as well, but... Uh, I think this deck looks fine. Yep, one island seems good. Five green, which is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And five, six, seven, eight, nine. As well, okay. Nine, nine. Yeah, this deck looks fun. Okay, just to prove not not okay, buddy, not okay. Wow, Zaxor, that is a heck of a link, buddy. I will play first. Um, I'll keep this hand even though we can't Anafenza immediately. Give me a land. Give me like a brush land, to be specific. Oh, that was good. That was actually just fine as well. Man, JC nailed it. Nailed it. Um, It might just be an Offenza here. Yeah, I like Anafenza here because then Nissa at least gets bigger. Which lets us block carry Zev. Gross. No blocks. Bolster on uh, probably the Nissa. I don't foresee us hitting Nissa anytime soon. I'd rather just keep Anafenza around because it makes things like a Mirror Angel and some Lamarck Angel and Bane Slayer Angel significantly better. So now if we draw a land, we can play a Mirror Angel and make a guy, which is nice. Or a bird, a female. A ladybird. I guess we no longer have that option. To block, anyway. We still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, boy. I guess we'll take eight because we have no profitable blocks here. I can just easily prevent four damage next turn. Wow, I'm surprised how how, how efficient Silverblade Paladin is at wrecking us right now. If we can draw any land, we get to play Baneslayer Angel. Here's a stirring wildwood, Frank. Thank you. Preach. It's 
not great. It's actually not terrible either, though. All right. Well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They can kill our Anafenza, but I think that's fine at this point. I just want to get rid of this carry Zev. Actually, they can't, can they? That was actually a great trade. Oh, girl, go treat, yo treat yourself. I like your Parks and Rec reference, buddy. Okay, Connor Ryan, that photo is adorable. This is the photo Connor Ryan just came across in his hunt to see if Fleece Main Lion was a boy or girl, and uh, that's pretty amazing. Cutie stream. There's a lot of things on the board that I'm not really comfortable with. This is a creature that I'm pretty comfortable with, though. Let's do the double white again. B -b 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 Bane Slayer. Not even going to attack here because I'm at six, so. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> Bane Slayer can't attack, can't block. Maybe sacrifice an artifact. Bane Slayer can't block. Attack with everybody. A grub is a guy who can't get out from me. Sitting underneath, underneath the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Wow, Ash Zealot can steal Baneslayer Angel? That card has a completely different ability than the one I thought. Wait, what's going on? Did they forget Baneslayer had flying? Or are they able to deal four with it? Are they going to deal one to Baneslayer and then deal four to Baneslayer? I think you're, you're thinking of Zealous Conscripts. I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, because if he doesn't have first strike, they can actually just pump it twice and then just trade with Baneslayer. That's pretty good. Okay, this should not be a controversial stipulation, but if there's any, just let's keep the uh, any any sexist chat to uh, to a zero, just to uh, I just want to I just want to say that up front. No 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 offense to you guys. I uh... all right, we're back at eleven, and the game is good. Yeah, the problem is like, whoa, that's so sad. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're at eleven now. So we can Fertile Ground on something and then play Amiri Angel or Sublime Archangel? That seems good. I 
And then next turn we can play Staff of Nin, which is pretty good against their board. Uh, at white, at white. <laughs> Connor Ryan, come on. Come on. Uh, it's got to be Sublime. Sublime is just better on board, right? Amiri is better if we're able to play a land right afterwards. <laughs> Sorry for the autocorrect peanuts. Yeah, I appreciate that. If you guys uh, can can please not talk about your peanuts in the uh, in the stream, I'd appreciate it. Oh, all right. They have one card too. Our hand is just stacked, stacks on stacks. Why wouldn't they crack this last turn to try to try to find a gem, a hot gem? I want to play this bad, Larry. I'm gonna shoot your your thing. You can talk about almonds. Yeah, I love I love a good almond. Oh my god, this is just brutal. Boop boop boop. I always yield to all these exalted triggers. These Barrett Lariettas. I don't know. Is there a is there a Larry equivalent to a? Is there a female gendered Larry equivalent? Oh, that should have been done end of the turn last turn even. You know what? I just started to enjoy cashews. Thirty years of not knowing how good they were. Wow, wow. Get your life together, no beats. Laverne. Is that... That could actually be true. Huh. Oh, if they if they started No Scrubs, I would definitely follow through and finish No Scrubs. So, uh... It could, it's really anyone's guess whose fault that was. No Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Now it's in my head. Now it's like hardcore in my head, guys. This video is going to get demonetized. I think I think us gaining seven is better than any card you can draw, so I'm actually just going to... Eh, we'll just put a land on top of your deck. And we're just going to get old-timey Aleshnorn, huh? Attack you for eight. Boop, 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 boop. Sublime Archangel doing some work, man. Oh, Frank Female Larry is Francis. Good to know. I, uh, I don't think any of these are accurate. I think you guys are making this up as you go. But, uh... Connor Ryan, I actually drink soy milk. I drink vanilla soy milk, so I know that, I know that feeling. I like soy milk... In like cereal and stuff better than like regular milk. In recipes, I'll, I'll still use regular milk. But like for cereal or like coffee, I'll just use vanilla soy milk, which is just a lot better. You just have that in your hand? That's strange to me. Huh. Trying to holler at me. What's the what's the play? A Norn or Miria with the uh, double landum? This is just the Lesh Norn, right? It just kills their thing. 
That's weird because you had seven lands the previous turn. Did you just like draw your land and play it again? I don't get it. He knew I had this. You waited for me to cast it to concede? Very strange. I'm fine with everything we have here. I think our deck looks good. Lauren actually makes sense. I can see Lara and Lauren. Larry and Lauren. That makes sense. Laura? Yeah, that actually... I can get behind that. I'm going to ship... Um, actually, we have Fertile Ground. I can keep this hand. Oh, nailed it. We're so good at this game. PFD, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your FNM. I hope you win. I hope you crush all the, the, the scrubs because they can't get no love from you sitting in the passenger side of your best friend's ride trying to holler at you. Don't let them do it. Where did this black mana come from? What is even happening right now? I'm very confused. That's a good one. Hey, that's pretty good. Good old Fertilid Grounds. Oh, wow. That's... Rude. That was extremely rude. Land on top one time, it's never land on top no times. At least we can block an elemental, am I right? No, they'll just kill your oracle. <laughs> Give me a land so we can Baneslayer at least. Come on. Oh, wow, that's a good one. So now we're, I, I, we're not definitely not going to draw land now. I don't know if you guys knew that. You guys don't have to ask about the steps. You can just hit command step in the chat and it'll tell you what step it was. Double 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 double. I already did it. I just did the step. 
the stip command. Why are you guys like this? This is why I can't take you guys anywhere. This is why I got us. This is why our friendships are restricted to the internet. Guys, please don't spam the chat with Stip. That's not cool. I feel like you guys are out of control today. I don't know why. You guys are like my kids, and you're misbehaving, and I don't know what to do about it. No, I'm not I'm not gonna ban Cheshire Pratt or Harmon or K Flicks. Those are all good guys. Those are some of my favorite little children. But Oh my god, just stop it. Yep, that's the end of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Alright. Now I'm gonna bring in the mirror, because I didn't see any of that nonsense in this first game. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, I also don't like Fertile Ground. Now that they have Boom Bust, I'll just bring in Devoted Druid. So, yeah. I guess that's a thing. It's Friday the 13th. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I forgive you. I forgive you guys. You're usually so well behaved. I don't know. I don't know what got into you this morning. Sometimes you get that, I don't know what I was going to say there. Hey, how many other people bring you Dunkin' Munchkins? No one is bring. no one, none of you, no one, no one brings me Dunkin' Munchkins. Ever. You brought me Dunkin' Munch Munchkins in Vegas? Man. Oh, I see. I am just going to magma jet your gentle lady. Buh. I Frank spanked Mike every time chat misbehaved. To if, if Frank Frank spanked to Frank gets banned from Twitch before one happened, we would write. Wow, that's aggressive. I smile at death. Our hand is very good right now. Gain X life and draw for the number of lands? Yes, please. I want to draw. Okay, the, the spanking mic conversation is getting a little weird, guys. What, seriously? Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Got him. All right, that's enough with the lands.
ambitions. Oh, another land. Sweet. Well, Leshnorn's good next turn, am I right? Mimic Vent. Okay, not ideal, but also interesting. Any creature. Any creature at all. Anything that I can cast. The old, the old uh, <laughs> five spells to nine lands, a classic. Yep. Well, we're definitely going to be able to ultimate. Yeah, like they always have answers. Like I've never been able to like profitably pump a Planeswalker to ultimate level. Great. <sighs> All right. Well, you get a clue. I'm not going to attack you. Like, does our opponent just not have anything either? I don't understand because... I don't know what this is. Black Red Morph. It could just be Iron Shaman. That would be my guess. Thalia is so unexciting on the top of the deck. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think the only morphs are Dire Shaman and Ruthless Ripper. Ire, Ire Shaman, not Dire Shaman. And I feel like I'm pretty well taken care of for both of those. I'm not thrilled about this match right now. Well, they already played Bonfire, so they're probably not going to draw it again. They've played it all three games. Yep, Irish Island, sure. Mountain gets exiled. Is it play? Yeah, sure. So you get a free mountain. That's actually fine. I will also double block that with a Rex Sage and I guess a plant. I don't actually care about Oracle at this. I guess it gets, through, it gets us through lands, which is nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, it seems fine. We're not trying to make an army here. We're just trying to clear your board so we can ultimate Nissa. You have six cards though, so that's definitely going away. All right, one time don't don't have a thing, I guess. Us drawing eight cards next turn is probably going to be the game, but that also assumes that they don't have an answer in their five cards, and they always do, as we know. So we just have to figure out which answer it's going to be, I guess. We'll just wait it out and see what's going to happen. Because that's all you can really do. We're actually going to keep Dali alive here. All right, so attacking wasn't... Oh, they did attack Nissa too, so... If they had a way to deal with Nissa, they might have just gone face there. Choops. Choopa choops. Big Chooperinos. Now I wish I blocked here and then traded and then he only yeah that's pretty good <laughs> did it boys one two three four six seven eight Wow, that was insane. Burst lightning, they sure. Sure. Ooh. Uh, I'll take two. So I forgot a semicolon, and now MATLAB is spitting 100 million integers out at me. That seems bad. Uh, probably not your finest moment, I would imagine. Did you watch the Bully Hunters? I don't know what that is. I never get to alt walkers. They always have a thing. I We finally did it. We finally made it. I mean, we still have to deal with all these creatures, though. But I guess this guy dies, right? All right, so I guess we don't have to deal with that many creatures. We are drawing a lot of lands here, though. But I guess we can just go get a Leshnorn. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go get a Leshnorn and just play Avacyn here. That seems pretty good. I think we go get a Leshnorn and play Avacyn. I think I might have said that in reverse, but. Oh, we're actually one shy. So that's sad. I guess we'll just play Archangel and do it. Going up to 30 also seems pretty good, but I'm going to just keep up Avacyn here.
Hmm. Interesting. No attack with Boros Reckoner there is pretty interesting. Yep, that's pretty good. What up, Dead Sights? I got angels for days. Attack for seven. Seems good. Old Skindy McRindy, huh? All right, that's pretty good. It's your boy Tom. Hey, Frank's there never caught a day stream before. I'm liking the deck today. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, we're definitely Avicenning here. And they're going to like Burst Lightning, Bane Slayer in response, which is fine. Lightning Helix, whatever you got. Actually, Lightning Helix doesn't work. Did they just board out the white for black? Interesting. All right. Got him. Is there anything we want to change? I don't think so. I think our deck is... I think I like the way it worked. This guy might be good. What up, Grandma? Two kill A is Grandma. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know how that started, but just in case anyone doesn't know. Yeah, we can play it like this. I will play fast. Oh, keep. Snap keep. Seville Pippin, I have no idea what that means, but I hope you don't... I hope it doesn't mean what I think it means.
Uh, I don't know what I think it means. What I think it means is that you're implying Lady Gaga is less female somehow. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing to say. No condemn. No condemn. Sweet. Got him. Can we just draw like Bane Slayer Angel? Turn three Bane Slayer Angel? That's all we really want to do. That's a good one too. Oh yeah, she definitely has dress. Yeah, she definitely has an Alesh Norn-like appearance. Sure. I agree with you there. Um, There was actually an outfit that deliberately looked like... Not even deliberately. I can't say that. That would be speaking for for uh, Stefani Germanotti. Um... But uh, it definitely had an Alesh Norn-esque look. I'm a, I love Lady Gaga. I think she's wonderful. Uh, we're not going to play Anafenza here because we can just play, we can just make a token with Westvale Abbey. Which I think is better than running into like a Damnation or like a Wrath of God. A Day of Judgment effect, as it's known in the chat. Oh, isn't he cute? Look at him. Look at him, Pilgrim. Look at his little Pilgrim's eye. Not my opponent by me, by any means. The 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 Pilgrim's eye itself is is what I'm what I'm calling cute. What a Pershney. Well, I think her. I think she is talented, but uh, her appearance is just hard to take in. Yeah, but you don't have to look at her when you're just listening to the music, right? Like. I noticed you playing Hearthstone yesterday and wept. I'm so sorry that it was that difficult for you. I hope you're okay now, Duty Snatches. Murder. Murder. Anafenza seems like death. Boom, 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 The Hot Huntress, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Brood. Appreciate the support. I have a feeling Avacyn the Purifier is not going to survive the turn. However, she has done a good amount of damage so far. Oh, Baneslayer Angel. Wow, they're going to go to one here. Well then. <laughs> oh, I see.
Well, you get a turn. You get a new so many thing. Pay for your pack, buddy. We have not hit 250 yet. We're getting close, though. We're still at 245. We're at 245 right now. So I... <laughs> oh, interesting. A bold strategy, Cotton. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that doesn't do it. You got it. Do I have Trample? No, just Lifelink. This guy can be uh, chump blocked all day, as they say. Who says that? Block one, double block Anafenza, block the human cleric, perhaps? Go to two. All right. Seems like a fine trade. Got to wipe the board, though. Westvale Abbey is very strong when your opponent's at two life. Kagein, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Thank you for the support. Hopefully I said that correctly. Kagein? Kagein? I would say Kagein. Clever impersonator. Ah, that's clever. Oh, you chose to cast out. Okay. You're my Avicinian. You're going to get rid of cast out. Okay. Well, that's a good choice. I can uh, support that. I was like, don't attack with spirit here, buddy. It's always a land in it. Hey, it's always a land in it. <sighs> Looks like you got a block here. All right. Pulling the daughter in the wagon and watching my favorite stream. Oh, man. It's your boy, Tom. You're too good to me. I'm just going to actually keep this until next turn. We'll play a land, though. Like, even attacking with Baneslayer here doesn't get them out of this mess, so... Yeah, they've been holding this Avacyn back for quite a while. The Clever Impersonator also helped. Oh, they're digging, though. That's a dig. Uh, why not attack with all? Because then they block our Avacyn. They gain five and go to seven. And then they block our Sublime Archangel with the Lingering Souls token. And then they take four and go to three. And we lose our six five. Cheers coming from the twos. I'm finally catching you live. Watching your vids almost every lunch at work. I thought it's about time to give you some support. Because, man, I had some hard laughs because of you and your acoustic son, Gritty. Thank you so much, man. really appreciate it. Even more so from Germany. That is awesome. Thank you. That is so great. Eh, that's a blocker. That's an aggressive blocker. But you're still at two. Oh, well. 
Oh, that'll do, I guess. Oh, uh, I guess you counter it, right? Hmm. Oh, hoo, hoo, that's a that's a juicy meatball. <laughs> Cross the streams is right. The kids do say that. I've heard them say it. And they're going to counter this too, which is fine. Because now we just attack with Addison. They have to, otherwise we just kill the Glenlinger Archmage anyway. You ha you must kill. You have to counter this. It is not question. They are at seven now. Oh, we actually probably could have... Um, Maybe. Yeah, they probably could have actually won that game. Um, Unburial rights. You can't cast. Where do they go? In the bottom of the library, right? Yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think we actually could have uh, could have done the thing last turn. Unbearer rights is put into their hand. They had a land. They get the angel back. Yeah, you're right. They would have had to block here, even if they kill this and gain five. Yeah, that's probably gonna do it. <laughs> See you later, bye. All right, so we saw Impersonator, we saw Jace, we saw Gristlebrand. That's a that's a that's a dude. I don't think we have very many good answers to a Gristlebrand, though. Unfortunately, don't really have the likelihood of splashing a black here. Saxor, deck's going pretty well, buddy. Connor Ryan, have a good night, buddy. I kind of just want to bring the master in, but we have goals. We have we have rules here.
I think you can submit here. Maybe. Oh, uh, I don't like double. Double blue on a region is pretty greedy. I don't think there have been many games at all where we've had double double blue, so. No beats. Have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your night uh, and, and your weekend. And uh, for those who weren't here, I'm going to do a set review later tonight on Twitch, which will go up on YouTube uh, every night between now and the pre-release at 9 p.m. So you can follow me on here. You can follow me on YouTube, whatever you want to do. That is up to you. Uh, what is my dream job? Probably designing card games. I mean, I just I play so many card games and I feel super comfortable in that uh, in that niche. So I wish we can get a green here. Oh, I can change the Nani Potter green. Uh, I mean, June. <laughs> Let me get on that. I wish we had a green, but we don't actually have any green cards here, so maybe it's fine. I don't know. goals found it all right how many rooms do i have in my house i don't i don't know i split rent this is just my share of the rent this isn't like that's not my mortgage or my like the rent for the entire house if that's what you mean Amazing silly being that you stream Magic nonstop, and in your opinion, is Magic the most well-designed? No, Magic is not the most well-designed card game. I stream Magic because I'm the most familiar with it, and because it is the, uh, I, you know, the most popular hard game, card game. Uh, it's the most popular paper card game. I'm not even sure it's the most popular digital card game. I don't think it actually is, which is interesting. Um, but I have the largest audience. It is the lar it is a game I have the largest audience in. Um, but I don't think it's most well-designed. I think any game that has a resource system where you need resources to play the game, but you have no control when you get those resources is not great. I think it's a pretty antiquated system, but it's, you know, you're with magic, you're just stuck with it. So, um, I'm actually going to put the rent up one time. So someone donated, uh, they, they actually paid for a critique and they used the donation feature, which is not the same for me. Um, so this month is actually should be at 650. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand still. So we're just going to go 750 and we'll go zero. And what are we going to say? Five, zero, five slash 31. But we got a ways to go. So, yep. All right, cool. Let's see if that works. All right, cool. Yeah, so if you guys ever want me to do like a deck critique or a stipulation or something like that, um, just email me first because I don't I don't count the donations for for uh, streaming it the same as other services. They're just different. That was a good draw. You're going to counter this? Are you going to snaggle this? Renting seems a hard way to live. I mean, yeah. I feel like renting is the most common way, right? Like I feel like I feel like there's there's way more people who rent their homes than who than who own their homes or who are paying mortgages, right? Like Does that seem accurate? Oh, you're just getting a feather pools. All right. My sig my signet resolves. Wouldn't the uh, Hungry Howie's card game where you use pizza bones, wouldn't that be called Krusty Bones? That would be a good name for it, right? Krusty Bones. This hand actually got real good. 
Is it even renting when your fans pay for it? Um, it's still renting because... Is it renting when your boss at your job pays for it? Yeah, right? Still is. Oh, you said crusting bones. I said crusty bones with a Y. Crusty bones. What did they get? They put... Island and Wrath. Okay. Um, I think we actually just exile these and then... That seems pretty good. Maybe you like living in a van down by the river when you're living in a van down by the river. All right, so Island Wrath still in hand. Do you wrath now? Do you have a wrath? These are the questions. Interesting. Hmm. Now I'm intrigued. Ooh. Dirty. Seems fine. We'll just pass. I think greatest SNL character of all time is probably Sean Connery on Celebrity Jeopardy. That's pretty good. Is it because you look like him? No. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Uh, that was neither... That was Mad TV, yes. No, that was In Living Color. <laughs> Wow, you're getting your sketch comedy shows confused here. Let's go this, name a green. I like to know things and then say them. I also appreciate knowing things and then saying the things that I know. Same. Well, that's unfortunate. Should have killed one of these cuties before that happened, but... Mm, the frustration is real. Even Staffanin's not going to save you now. So eight mana, so we could go Baneslayer and Nissa. This is brutal. Oh, good times, good times.
<sighs> oh my god. I don't know what to do here. I want to just kill this, but god, this is a good card. We know they have Wrath of God in hand. I assume they played the island by now. Two, three, four, five. Why would we scoop here? What's wrong with you? I'm creating little dudes. Man, this is Lime Archangel is really doing some work, man. I feel like I should have gotten rid of that instead of the uh instead of the other thing. <laughs> Red Jackal. Suck it, Trebek. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh god, I want to click ignore, but like this is like a million dudes that I just don't feel like dealing with right now. Nine eight, huh? Oh, going at Nissa. Yeah, okay. Do you wipe the board now? No. Say Wrath and one other card. It's gotta be Wrath now, right? Not Wrath. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty good. Well, that is a that is a good series of events and things that happened in the game of Magic the Gathering. So four, yep, all right. Whew. I totally missed what was happening in the chat right now, just so you guys know. Yeah, I think you just attack with this and we take like nine. Which is pretty rough, but then they Wrath of God because our board has just gotten better. But then we have Staff of Nin Ninos. Uh, the, the guy in the GIF is Mark Rosewater, uh, head magic designer. Head of magic R&D. Oh, you did not Wrath the board. I'm intrigued. Now we have Stirring Wildwood, too. All right, I feel like we're actually in okay shape right now. So now you deal eight. Uh, in theory, Immortal Sun... I don't know if you could say in theory just because do we go to four I don't think so
see if you got it. You do not have it. Oh boy. Oh boy. How did this game turn around? Remember when we were like, oh no, they have an Elspeth and they stole our guy. Are they going to wrath here? I'm going to laugh because they might forget indestructible. That would be sweet. Nope, not a wrath. Gristlebrand? Just a hard cast Gristlebrand? Wow. Roadkill, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Really appreciate the support. Oh, that's not, that's not good. This is not good. Nothing is good. Everything is terrible. We still have an Oblivion Ring in the deck. Wow, Gristlebrand is a heck of a thing. Go to six. Yep, that's good. <sighs> yeah, Prodemons is great, but like they're going to bounce it with Jace. They have eight cards in hand, guys. Wow. Incredible. Really? Well, you don't do anything here. All right, well, this game turned around again. Sure. Sure. Two cards, two cards. Oh. Whew. Doing it. So when we need 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have plenty of mana. I don't think we actually get a... I don't think... Is there a forest we can get? Oh, there are plenty of forests we can get. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, not now, but in the future, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it probably was better to kill Jason Staff. I didn't actually think of that. That was I'm an idiot. I mean, the only two mana counters for this are Rune Snag and Mana Leak and Negate. And I don't think you have Negate. Baneslayer is pro demons, yes, but it's not pro Jace. It's also not pro Doomblade, it's not pro Oblivion Ring, it's not pro any of those other cards. I'd rather just get the kid, the card that wins them the game off the board.
All right. All right, they didn't crack their land, which is good. Yeah, that's actually fine. Wrath is gone. We finally know about that. All right, we can kill Jace now, too. So that's our last hoorah with Jace. All right, feels like we may have turned the corner again. I don't know. This game has been pretty back and forth, which is pretty sweet. I wish that was a, an artifact so I can, so I could sage it. Now you just get a free thing. But I guess you could just cast. Oh my God, are you serious right now? Oh no, wait. We have, we have this guy. That's pretty good. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yep. One, two, we'll go double white. Four, we'll play a Myria. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have plenty of land for everything. I guess we just hope we don't have packed, but maybe you do. Good lord, they have two cards left in their deck. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. Okay. All right. Your move. Pay for your pact. So if they have two removal spells, we're dead. And they go to one card in their library, so. It's been a good game. If nothing else, this has been a pretty good game. We have two floating blockers. Oh, free card off Shell Dock. What's it going to be? There's one of them. Sure. And there's the other. I don't know why that took so long, but I guess uh, sometimes you just don't know how to play Magic in an efficient pace, but all right. Cool. So they have Oblivion Ring. I guess we can bring in Disenchant. I mean, that was a good game, though. It was a good back-and-forth game. Um, I didn't feel like it was a blowout at any point. Den Protector actually might be good to get back things like uh, Declaration in Stone or Cast Out or Oblivion Ring if they get eaten. And it might just be better than Anafenza, who I'm not totally thrilled with in this deck. We could also bring in Lingering Souls for the blockers and splash it off like Fertile Ground. But uh, Fleece Main is male. That's why we're not playing it. It has a main. It literally has main in the title, which I just realized.
I will keep this hand. This hand does everything we want, so that's pretty good. And we can get a island with this, so. Yeah, they have 20 seconds more than us, so. Seems fine. Oh, that was a good draw. I'd rather play this Nissa than that Nissa any day of the week. Hi-oh! I really just think this is a better investment later in the game. I mean, they have Murderous Cut, Doomblade, Oblivion Ring, Wrath of God, Elspeth, which is problematic. We have Cast Out, though, which is reasonable. This guy's also annoying. I feel like we're a little too close to Aleshnorn, though, to care about it. Can we crank this? Come on, let's go. Tier 3, play Nissa. I guess we could have played Baneslayer Angel there, but... Friday evening, Frank is Cuban. Can life get any better? Um, No, probably not. I mean, as long as they don't draw Jace here. Yehenny's expertise, sure. Aether Sphere Harvester. I mean, we have cast out for the last minute. For the last minute, is that what I said? Oh, the old crew. Oh, the old crew in Doomblade, a classic. That was a desperation move if I ever saw one. And boy, have I seen one before. Boom, 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 boom. Don't have wrath. Mm. It's kind of like a wrath, I guess. But now. I'll draw a Rashmi and I'll play a land. And I'll put a counter on this thing. Get him. You're cracking response. And we got a Rex Sage on top. It's 
sure. Man, we got a win in three and a half minutes. That's pretty rough. Um, what are we doing here? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Your angel. Oh, discard land, discard land, discard, discard all these things. And we can also shuffle our graveyard into our library, don't forget, so I'm not really too concerned with that. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Woo! Got him with a minute and 15 on the clock. That was gas. Keep up Avacyn, and we can shuffle in our graveyard, so we weren't going to deck ourselves by any means. That was a sweet game. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
All right. Welcome back. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe to my grandson's channel. Don't forget about the Amazon Primes. Oh my God, amazing. Oh, amazing. Uh, the problem with Den Protector and Alesh Norn was that they exiled it with um, Declaration in Stone. So, unfortunately, you cannot Den Protector things from Exile Zaxor. <laughs> oh, I don't love this hand, but it does have all the things we want in a hand. Which is lands and cool cards. Yeah, we'll keep it. I'll we'll we'll risk it. Uh Tin Man, I do my, my set reviews by color. I saw I go white, blue, black, red, green. Oh the other other expensive card on the deck, huh? Okay. Axel, what's going on, buddy? We are currently 2-0 in this draft. So we get to play again. Oh, that was a great draw. Holy smokerinos. Now I'm feeling much better about this keep. Oh, look at that guy. I probably just want to exile this guy. I don't want you getting free lands. I get the draw carry added. Sure. We're so close to staff here. That's a strong card. You still haven't tried one color combo I've noticed red black. Not that it's very <laughs> Um, I mean I'll try whatever colors seem open. You know what I mean? It feels like they're like, how do I deal with a Baneslayer Angel? And I'm like, I don't know. So our hand is now... Uh... Okay, I guess they figured out how. A black card. <laughs> All right. Sespassar, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out when you can. what's going on here Nesto Ernesto invader okay all 
I'm gonna shoot this little guy. I'm sorry, little friend. Tin Man, have a good draft. Hopefully you win. I will take two. And then I will presumably draw two. Unless you have a Cytic Slime. Whisperwood Elemental. That's a good dude. So is Aleshnorn, though. So I guess we're good there. Primal Command. Okay. I hope you don't have a way to kill my Leshnorn. If you do, I hope it is something like an Oblivion Ring or a Cast Out, so I can deal with it efficiently. These are my hopes and dreams. That is not ideal. It's funny seeing them use two black removal spells when they have this white green mana base. I don't know. They do always have it, though. Baneslayer and Aleshnorn, they both had the perfect removal for them. I don't feel like I ever have that. So, maybe I do? I don't know. I'm getting rid of this guy now, though, because I don't feel like... Second response? Nope. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Swish? 32 ounces. Wow, that's a good amount. Maelstrom Pulse. Sure. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, Eternal Witness getting back the old Maelstrom Pulse. Boy, talk about how, Sometimes they not only have it, they have it twice.
It's a good dude. Man, we had a Leshnor and Baneslayer and Staff of Nin this game, and they were all dealt with. I think we just want Den Predictor in the deck. And Maelstrom Pulse on Avacyn, perhaps? Maelstrom Pulse on Avacyn. I mean, it prevents them from Maelstrom pulsing on cast out, which is nice. We can still block the Tusk here. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna take six here. I would love something that makes tokens. Maybe uh maybe a uh, Myria, maybe uh something good, maybe a uh, forest. I mean, we still win next turn if they don't have an answer to Sublime Archangel. Fingers crossed. <coughs> Just don't have a sublime archangel answer. And we have two jump blockers right now. And we only need one if they have... Like, if we can just block here and take six. So they'd have to have, like, removal and something else. Cogain, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Have a good night, buddy. Yep. Blocks like that. Because if the manifest is something dirty, which is a pack rat. Okay, we'll go to three. Because now your guys still come in and play tapped, which is nice. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Gotta love it. Gotta love magic. Got to absolutely love it. Love it with every ounce of your being. Boy, talk about always having it. Oh, you'll be a three? All right, I'll uh, just play uh, Siege Rhino.
I mean, they would have been at nine. So even if we had stayed alive, like Salon Archangel's four. Um, if we play Rex Sage. And then it goes to five, six, seven. We'd be too shy, and we drew Flooded Grove, so Flooded Strand. So we would have the Rex Age and the Thalia as as Exalt triggers, along with itself. <clears throat> it's only seven, actually. <coughs> I think shrine would be hilarious right now. I'm just like, yeah, I got a shrine, bro. I don't have any red spells, but I'll still deal you 10 damage in 10 turns. So, clock's ticking, chief. They do have maelstrom pulse, so it ain't that great. Man, I feel like our first hand felt real good, and this hand feels real bad. Mulligan. This hand feels better. Keep you on top. All right. <clears throat> Seems good. Oh, I always, always got the song carry at it, huh? Okay. Must be dice. Ho, 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 ho. It's a dude. That is a dude, isn't it? Surprisingly obnoxious dude, but a dude nonetheless. God, I wish I had it as consistently as they did, right? That'd be great. What's the point of even blocking? <clears throat> Plays no black mana. All spells are black. Yeah, Sylvan Carry added. What kind of games would these have been if you just didn't draw your Sylvan Carry added? <laughs> like, well, I guess I don't get any spells this game. Oh, how nice. I have a Den Protector. They have Scavenging Ooze. Perfect.
What's good here? I don't know. <coughs> Feels like just Bane Slayer is fine, but boy, they're just going to have it, right? Whatever, make them have it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to get a Leshnorn right now when we have no way to cast it. <clears throat> Just getting a creature and hoping we draw two removal spells. I was hoping, to, hoping we draw two lands, rather. That doesn't seem optimistic or ideal. Sure. Eat my Primal Command. Yep, take six. <clears throat> Bane will just clean up what is good. Bane is not going to do anything, to be quite honest with you. <clears throat> Bane is just going to get murderous cut. And then they're going to eat her and have a 3-3, three, three, so. Three cards? Never don't have it. Eat that flooded strand. <clears throat> well, they didn't have it at the end of the turn, so let's see if they drew it. Or if it's just sorcery speed, like Oblivion Ring. <clears throat> Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> this game is much more fun. Um, when I actually get to keep things on the board, <clears throat> my opponent doesn't always have it, but what are you going to do? Yeah, this game is not close, unfortunately. Please eat Bane Slayer before damage. Thank you. Yep, that's pretty bad. <clears throat> How do we get to Den Protector now? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, man. Yeah, you know, the one card that's been uh, the glue that holds their entire deck together this whole time. They drew murderous cut. They're trying to figure out which creature to tap in order to kill my guy. <clears throat> Interesting. I 
Uh, I haven't played Paper for a while. Sure. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable to me. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.